being here inside Northfield Mountain, it's an incredibly unique facility. We are carved out of the inside of a mountain. It is a facility that dates back 50 years, and yet at the same time is ideally situated to drive the energy transition of the future. Imagine a battery so big that it can power more than a million homes for hours. A battery so weird that it uses water instead of chemicals. A battery so futuristic that it can help us fight climate change and make renewable energy more reliable. Sounds impossible, right? Well, it's not. In fact, this battery already exists, and it's right here in the United States. Welcome to Northfield Mountain, the world's largest battery. Northfield Mountain, a giant water battery that can store and generate electricity using pumped storage hydroelectricity. We'll see how it works, why it's important, and what challenges it faces. But first, let's talk about what pumped storage hydroelectricity is and why we need it. Pumped storage hydroelectricity, or pumped storage battery, is a type of energy storage system that uses water and gravity to store and generate electricity. It works like this. When there is excess electricity in the grid, such as during the night when demand is low, or when there is a lot of wind or solar power available, the pumped storage battery plant pumps water from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir using electric pumps. This way, the pumped storage battery plant converts the excess electricity into potential energy stored in the water. Then, when there is a high demand for electricity, such as during the day when people use more appliances, or when there is a shortage of wind or solar power, the pumped storage battery plant releases the water from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir through the same pipes, but this time, the water spins the turbines as it flows down. This way, the pumped storage battery plant converts the potential energy stored in the water back into electricity. This process can be repeated as many times as needed, depending on the supply and demand of electricity in the grid. The pumped storage battery plant can switch from pumping mode to generating mode in a matter of minutes, making it very flexible and responsive to the changing needs of the grid. So, why do we need pumped storage battery? Well, one of the main reasons is to support the integration of more renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar, into the electricity grid. Renewable energy sources are great for the environment because they don't emit greenhouse gases or other pollutants that contribute to climate change and air pollution. However, they also have some drawbacks, such as intermittency and variability. This means that they are not always available or predictable, depending on the weather and the time of day. For example, solar power is only available during the day, and wind power is only available when it's windy. This creates a mismatch between the supply and demand of electricity, which can cause problems for the grid's stability and reliability. To avoid these problems, the grid needs to have a balance between the supply and demand of electricity at all times. This is where pumped storage battery comes in handy. Pumped storage battery can act as a buffer or a backup for the grid by storing the excess electricity from renewable sources when they are abundant and releasing it when they are scarce. This way, pumped storage battery can smooth out the fluctuations in the grid and provide a steady and reliable supply of electricity to the consumers. By doing so, pumped storage battery can also bring other benefits, such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions, lowering electricity costs, increasing grid resilience, and creating jobs and economic opportunities. Pumped storage battery is considered one of the most efficient and cost-effective ways of storing large amounts of electricity, with round-trip efficiencies of up to 80%. This means that for every 100 units of electricity that are stored in the pumped storage battery plant, 80 units can be retrieved later. Pumped storage battery is also very durable and long-lasting, with lifespans of up to 50 years or more. Now that we know what pumped storage battery is and why we need it, let's take a look at Northfield Mountain, the world's largest battery. It was built in 1972 by the New England Power Company and is now owned and operated by First Light Power, a subsidiary of Pumped Storage Battery Investments, a Canadian pension fund. Northfield Mountain has a total capacity of 1,000 
168 megawatts, which is enough to power more than 1 million homes for up to 7.5 hours each and every day. It is also the largest pumped storage battery plant in the U.S. and the second largest in the world, after the Bath County Pumped Storage Battery Plant in Virginia, which has a capacity of 3,000 and 3 megawatts. Northfield Mountain is unique in many ways. Unlike most pumped storage battery plants, which use natural lakes or rivers as their lower reservoirs, Northfield Mountain uses the Connecticut River, the longest river in New England, as its lower reservoir. The upper reservoir, on the other hand, is a man-made lake that sits on top of the mountain, about 800 feet above the river level. The upper reservoir has a surface area of 300 acres and can hold up to 5.6 billion gallons of water. The upper and lower reservoirs are connected by four 25-foot diameter pipes that run through the mountain for about two miles. At the end of the pipes, there is an underground powerhouse where four reversible pump turbines are located. These pump turbines can either pump water up to the upper reservoir or generate electricity from the water flowing down to the lower reservoir. The electricity generated by the pump turbines is then transmitted to the grid through two 345 kilovolt transmission lines that run for about 10 miles. Northfield Mountain operates in a very dynamic and complex way, depending on the market conditions and the grid needs. It typically pumps water at night when electricity prices are low and generates electricity during the day when electricity prices are high. It also responds to the fluctuations in the grid such as when there is a sudden surge or drop in demand, or when there is a loss of generation from other sources. Northfield Mountain can start or stop generating electricity in less than 10 minutes, making it one of the fastest and most flexible resources in the grid. It also provides other essential services to the grid, such as frequency regulation, voltage support, spinning reserve, and black start capability. These services help maintain the grid stability and reliability and prevent power outages and disruptions. Northfield Mountain also plays a key role in supporting the integration of more renewable energy sources in the region. New England has a goal of reaching 80% clean energy by 2030 and 100% by 2050, which means that more wind and solar power will be added to the grid in the coming years. However, as we discussed earlier, Wind and solar power are intermittent and variable, which can create challenges for the grid. Northfield Mountain can help overcome these challenges by storing the excess electricity from wind and solar power when they are abundant and releasing it when they are scarce. This way, Northfield Mountain can help increase the value and utilization of wind and solar power and reduce the reliance on fossil fuels and greenhouse gas emissions. Northfield Mountain is the world's largest battery and one of the most amazing and innovative technologies that are shaping our future. It uses water and gravity to store and generate electricity, and it supports the integration of more renewable energy sources into the grid. It also faces some environmental and regulatory challenges, but it also has many opportunities and innovations to overcome them and improve its operation and impact. Northfield Mountain is a great example of how we can use our natural resources and our engineering skills to create solutions that can help us fight climate change and make our energy system more sustainable and reliable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about Northfield Mountain and pumped storage hydroelectricity. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Future Galaxy and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you next time with more amazing and innovative technologies that are shaping our future. Bye for now.